list of women who say Bill Cosby sexually assaulted them continues to grow, and now a lawsuit could be in the works. That tops tonight's Entertainment City. TMZ is reporting one alleged victim, Louisa Moritz, who played Rose in One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, is wrangling other women for a class action lawsuit against the 77-year-old. Moritz reportedly wants at least nine other women to join her case. 15 women have come forward with various allegations, and now former NBC employee Frank Scotty tells the Daily News he acted as a middleman for Cosby in the late 80s, helping him pay off women and standing guard when the actor invited young models to his dressing room. Meanwhile, Cosby's career is in jeopardy. Various stand-up dates have been pulled. Cosby has not been charged in any of the allegations. His lawyers have shot down all accusations, and the former sitcom star has remained silent. To other news now, everyone's favorite disgruntled employees are back to bring the laughs to the big screen in Horrible Bosses 2. Entertainment City's Brad Smith chatted with the guys. This is a comedy movie with massive A-list stars. Yeah. You guys all get to work with them and joke around with them. Yeah. Pretty good way to do it. And the people we turned down. Uh, That's true. Pretty, yeah, yeah, Daniel yeah. Day Lewis called they tried, and they just tried to find a part for him. Yeah, they wanted Daniel like, Day Lewis to yeah, play my part. Yeah, and I, I mean, was like, that's taken. Well, He'd be a great boss, though. Wouldn't he? Stick around for the, for the, uh, for the third. Yeah. Yeah. And be sure to check in tomorrow to hear what Jennifer Aniston has to say about her risque role. It's one of the hottest new shows on TV, the high-octane drama Scorpion. In an exclusive chat, the cast shared their theories on the show's success. I think there's something in it for everybody. We've got action, we've got comedy, we've got heart and drama. We touch on a lot of different themes, one of them being people who feel different, maybe a little bit of an outcast, and then finding some sense of family. When this show first started, it was like, oh my god, this stuff. As we go on, we're feeling more at home. And it's not so daunting to get this insane dialogue or right. be in these crazy situations. And the sh it's showing in the show. Catch the latest episode of Scorpion tonight only on City. That's why you got to know a I interviewed Hayden from back in the day. And the thing I always loved about him was that beautiful smile he always had. I mean, what was he like for you as a dad? He was incredible. Um, I always say I'd rather have 19 years of a really present father than 60 years of an absent dad who I didn't really see. He commanded the stage, commanded our energies, which was great. And also just uh, uh, being able to tour and play and being in the studio was a great leader. Juno award-winning band Jack Soul lost frontman Hayden Neal tragically when he died of lung cancer in 2009 at just 39 years old. Rudy Blair spoke to Neal's bandmate and daughter about Jack Soul's new greatest hits album released tomorrow. Fan favorites Can't Stop and Still Believe in Love are all featured on the 16-track album and a new single featuring Hayden's unforgettable raspy voice, Gotta Have It. This year is the fifth anniversary of Neil's passing, so the album honors his legacy with new tracks found and never heard before. At the point we found uh, maybe a bunch of demos that felt like these were written seven years ago, but they were pertinent today, and they still classic today, and they still feel like they were right, and something Hayden would be proud of as a song that he wrote. Jack's Soul Greatest Hits is out tomorrow. <laughs>